We'll start with this because I don't even know if I want to start with that. That's a, maybe a little too heavy. Did y'all see Drake at the uh, Toronto game? Y'all heard about that and the whole the supposed beef and him. Actually, it ain't no supposed beef. It ain't. I, I heard the um, commentating thing that he did hmm. when Drake did the the commentating. I'm gonna look at this way, Tyler, as if I'm like talking to you because I need somebody <laughs> to talk to. It feel weird just talking to the camera like this. I don't know how Bill Bird does it, and maybe you know what. Maybe I should have did a whole – I should have spent my time at the job writing down a thing and typing it down and had, like, a news <laughs> report and just read off of that. That's why they make it look so easy. But – so Drake uh, apparently had – I can't say apparently. He got beef. He made it apparent he got beef with uh, DeMar. Mm. Did you see none of this? You had, so Sacramento went to uh, Toronto to play them, I believe, to play up in uh, Canada. Obviously, Drake and his mans is front row. He the ambassador still for the Raptors. So he down there, he, you know, staring them down on some, like, on like out of a movie, if y'all on the block and then you see this dude and you oh, finna man. go, he's staring them down like that from the sideline of an NBA game. Man. So, <laughs> and I'm like, just get out of here with that. And DeMar DeRozan, you know, playing basketball, obviously, just chilling, doing nothing because this is fake. And it made it look way more nefarious than it was, and I would have even played it off and said, this ain't nothing, this ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, y'all tripping, y'all making narratives out of everything. But then they asked the man to go to the commentator. They asked Drake to go to the commentator thing. Mm. Drake sitting over there at the commentator, he can't wait to take shots at DeMar DeRozan. For some, I don't know why, right? Well, we know why, but it's just lame. He over there, they asking him something about uh, Vince Carter, first number, retired, something like that or whatever. And they was finna ask him something about another player. And then um, Drake just stopped. And he, oh, what did he say? Oh, yeah, unfortunately, we out here watching this these bums. He he said something, oh, this goofball. Oh, this goofball. We out watching this goofball. Referring, assuming he referring to DeMar. If you didn't know he was referring to DeMar, before they asked him, after they asked him the retirement thing with Vince, they say, yeah, but what if this way? He say, what if DeMar get a number? If DeMar, if y'all retire DeMar's number, I'm going to climb up there and take it down. <laughs> that's, wow, that's bro. Nice. And then the couple was like, actually, we weren't even to ask about that. We was asking about Cal Lowry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we was actually asking about Cal. And then he was like, oh, no, nah, you know, Cal, cool. He his, his number can go up there, you know. And then DeMar at the end was like, um, yeah, at, at the press conference at the end, he was like, "Yeah, I heard what Drake said. Just you know, if he he'll have a, a long way to climb, and good luck." But that's just super lame and petty to have a beef with Demar Derozan because he rode with his hometown and family. Really, you know what I'm saying? Over the team that you ambassador because y'all did a commercial together and he still said that he rock with both of y'all but if you making them choose he gonna choose with hometown who wouldn't but he wouldn't because you know he don't know nothing about that mm. that's the part of him not being like us mm. he don't know that that's the where the loyalty lies where you from the fan where you was born and ra raised that even also there was probably around the same time frame and age uh damar and kendrick but even if they wasn't, they stars now from the same place. So I'm sure they know the same people. So it's some relation there. And that's what makes it family. That's what makes it home. That's what makes you have to ride with that. But, but yeah, it's still entertaining. And I was glad that it actually was that. Because I was trying to, I didn't want to believe the narratives when people were saying that. I'm like, nah, not, he wasn't doing that. He not that. He not, he not that lame. And then I heard the clip. Then I heard what he said mm. at the commentator booth, and I was like, oh, no. Nah. And he sounded lame saying it, too. I don't know if it's just me, but, yeah. Like, Drake is, just give me the, uh, just give me the uh, songs, you know? I don't really want to hear him talk. It's it's like, break that it breaks the fourth wall when you talk a little bit, mm. you know? It's like, oh, yeah, you him. Like I thought you was the dude in the songs, but you you him. <laughs> it's all Aubrey. It's all Aubrey. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, shout out to him, you know. <laughs> <laughs>